So this is these are their properties. We are handing them over to the government of Somalia, and we are handing them also to the government of Somalia. They know better what to do. The gunmen were arrested in the last Kodun and such operation in Mogadishu one week ago. A few armed elements, up to 18 in number, who were picked up from an operation of Kodun and such that was done by the Army SOM in conjunction with SNA, NISA, and police. The 18 militiamen and a stockpile of weapons were seized in an operation on the house of former District Commissioner and warlord Ahmed Dai. We have played a multi dimensional role in terms of pacification of Somalia. We have tried to engage so many entities that hold ammunitions and weapons, entities that create insecurity both in Mogadishu and entirely in Somalia. This was the fifth such raid on a suspected weapons hideout. Assault rifles, bombs, vehicle license plates and communication gadgets were seized. No one here doubts that this city is awash with guns and government officials say the ongoing disarmament campaign is an attempt to reduce the number of weapons that could fall into the hands of the Al-Qaeda-linked group Al-Shabaab. Authorities have promised more raids, but members of parliament say the operations must be legal. I think the, it's the right of any Somali citizen to have the type of protection, making sure that you know, nobody, nobody raids the you know, residents without any authorization. And I think that's just, you know, for any citizen of any nation. Amisom has, however, not handed over the weapons that were seized in the last raid, though officials say they too would soon be handed to the Somali Intelligence Service. Mohamed Hirmogi, CCTV, Mogadishu.